Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. Let's learn how to record bats and use Auto ID with Echo Meter Touch 2. Recording is done via the Live Mode screen. As soon as the Live Mode screen is active, Echo Meter is ready to record. All you need to do to go into Record Mode is press one of the two Record buttons. But before we go into Record Mode, let's set the basic Auto ID parameters. The first step is to choose your local region. Click on the side panel and choose Auto ID Selection. Choose your country or state. Notice that now only certain species are checked. These are the species that are common to this geographic area. Species with an orange checkmark can be identified by Echometer. Species that have a gray checkmark indicate the species may be found in the local area, but Echometer does not yet have classifiers for this species and therefore cannot provide an auto ID. If you click on a bat species, you'll get a photo of the bat and a link to the Wikipedia page that describes the species. Now that Echometer has been informed as to which species to auto ID, let's go back to the live mode screen. Manual record mode records regardless of whether there is any current ultrasonic activity. When the manual record button is pressed, the actual recording is started five seconds before the record button was pressed. This allows you to see or hear a monitored bat signal and quickly press the record button to capture that signal. Auto ID will only work on a manual recording that is 60 seconds or less in length. Triggered recording mode records only when an input signal passes the threshold of the various trigger settings. For example, the trigger minimum frequency slider sets a threshold so that triggered recordings will only happen when a signal is present above the minimum specified frequency. There are additional trigger parameters available under the Advanced Settings screen, and we'll cover those settings in the next video. When the Trigger Record button is pressed, Echometer starts a session that can contain multiple individual recordings. It's also possible to force a recording in Triggered Recording mode by pressing the Manual Record button. A single file will be created for the Manual Record Pass, and separate Triggered Recordings are also saved. When Echometer is in record mode, you see the record button is red. There is also an animation around the record button. There's a timer at the top of the window to show elapsed recording time. To stop a recording, press the record button again or press the stop button. If a bat has been detected in the recording, the auto ID function will display its first and second choices. You can choose to accept either the first or second choice of the auto ID or you can override both choices with an ID from the general species list. By default, first choice is automatically selected unless it's overridden. At the conclusion of the recording, a recording label appears to show the new file name. The species identification is embedded in the metadata of the recording file. Tap the appropriate icon in the window to see more information on the selected species. Append voice or text notes to the recording. Navigate to the recording location in the GPS view. Share or export the recording. Delete the recording. Once a recording has been made, it's added to the recording list. Go to the side panel and choose Recordings. Manual record passes are displayed as single files. Triggered recordings are listed separately, but use color coding to show that they are all part of the same recording session. The list can be sorted by time or species. Tapping will reverse the sort order. Tap on the Summary button to pop up a window that displays the total number of recordings of each identified species. Press the Edit button to show additional options. You can select a subset of recordings by checking them before opening the Summary window. This can be handy for referencing recordings from a single night, for example. Individual files can be checked on the left, Press the Check button to check all files. Check one recording and then press and hold the checkbox on another recording to select all recordings in between. Press the Trash button to delete any checked files. Press the Share button to transfer any checked recordings via Wi-Fi, email, or MMS. Press the Auto ID button to rescan any checked recordings for auto-identification. There is an option to manually choose a species ID, 
and you have the choice to remove any auto ID information from the selected files. Removing the auto ID metadata will also rename the recording files to delete the species ID tags. Tap on a recording to view its spectrogram. This screen is very similar to the live mode screen. You can adjust view settings and minimum trigger frequency. There's a play button to listen to the recordings. There are three modes of audio playback type, heterodyne and real-time expansion, which were covered in a prior video, and also time expanded, which is simply a slowed down playback to make the signal audible. You can advance to the next file or go back to the previous file. This button switches between compressed or real-time view. Now you know how to create, auto ID, and manage your batch recordings. In the next video, we'll cover all the options under the Advanced Settings screen.